People always ask me, how I stay so youthful? And these days, they're getting harder and harder to Betty find. White was an entertainment icon whose name evoked laughter, wisdom, and an enduring spirit. After making it to the impressive age of 99 years old, she stood as a beacon of ageless grace before sadly passing away in 2021. Even during her final years, she not only managed to defy the passage of time, but even seemed to embrace it with an infectious vitality that captivated audiences of various generations. So, how did she do it? Well, as you're about to find out, her secrets to aging gracefully were not merely skin deep, but rooted in a philosophy that embraced life with unbridled enthusiasm, humor, and a genuine love for the world around her. Here's a look at Betty White's incredible career and how she managed to stay looking and feeling young right up until her 99th birthday. Born in 1922, White's journey to stardom began in the 1940s, a time when radio was the primary source of home entertainment. Betty swiftly carved her niche in this budding industry, showcasing her comedic flair and vibrant personality. She then effortlessly transitioned to television, becoming a pioneer in the medium's early days. Her role as co-host on Hollywood on Television marked one of the first instances of a female host in a talk show format, a groundbreaking feat that hinted at the trailblazing career to come. Betty's on-screen presence wasn't just engaging, it was magnetic. Her charm, quick wit, and remarkable ability to connect with audiences endeared her to viewers nationwide. It was her roles in two landmark series that cemented her as a household name, though. As Sue Ann Nivens on The Mary Tyler Moore Show, Betty showcased her comedic genius, portraying the sweet yet cunning homemaker with unmatched finesse. And then came The Golden Girls, where her portrayal of Rose Nyland, the lovably naive Minnesotan, became a permanent part of TV history. Remarkably, as she got older, Betty's career didn't fade out. It thrived. In an industry notorious for its ageism, she defied stereotypes and continued to evolve. Her resurgence in the 21st century, with appearances in films like The Proposal and a stint on Hot in Cleveland, showcased her enduring appeal and adaptability. Beyond her acting prowess, Betty White's commitment to animal welfare and her infectious zest for life made her a beloved figure off-screen. Her advocacy work, coupled with her irrepressible charm, has solidified her as an icon beyond the realms of entertainment. With such a distinguished and lengthy career, how did she manage to keep going so strong for almost eight decades? Well, throughout the years, White revealed her secrets in several interviews, and the answers are not what you might expect. In one interview with People magazine, for instance, the star revealed that she tries to avoid anything green. That's quite surprising, seeing as how leafy green vegetables are rich in vitamins and minerals, while also helping to bolster the immune system and support both vision and skin health. Still, the lack of greens didn't seem to affect Betty White negatively. In her own words, avoiding greens seemed to be working, and it's hard to disagree with her. In a separate appearance on The Late Show with David Letterman, White also revealed that she ate plenty of meat and did away with other so-called health foods. She joked that it was best to take some wheatgrass, soy paste and carob, toss in the garbage and cook yourself a big ass piece of pork. And cook yourself a big piece of pork. Aside from her surprising diet choices, White attributed her youthfulness and well-being to a few key habits and outlooks on life. She would keep her brain active by playing crossword puzzles and card games, in addition to watching quiz shows like Jeopardy and enjoying nature documentaries and sports. To keep her body active, her exercise involved walking up and down stairs. I have a two-story house and a bad memory, so I'm up and down those stairs all the time. That's my exercise, she once told Parade magazine. Betty was known for her positive outlook on life. According to White, she was born a cockeyed optimist and always looked to find the positive in situations. She maintained a cheerful demeanor and often credited her optimism and laughter as key components of her well-being. They do say that laughter is the best medicine after all. Betty White's career isn't just a chronicle of roles and achievements. It's a testament to resilience, talent, and an unwavering dedication to bringing joy to audiences across generations. Her impact on entertainment is not just enduring, it's a shining example, a 
of the timeless magic of talent and charisma. If only we could all have her zest for life, maybe we'd all live to be nearly a hundred too. Are you a fan of Betty White? Do her secrets to a long and happy life surprise you? Please leave a comment describing your favourite Betty White moment below. Make sure you subscribe for more if you like this video. As always, thanks for watching and we hope to see you again soon.